In today's time, creating a responsive website design is not optional. It's an essential part. With most users accessing websites on smaller screens, making the content responsive is crucial to providing an optimal user experience. And with the release of DV5 Public Alpha, this process of creating a responsive website design have become even more powerful and efficient. And that's what we are going to cover in this video. We are going to take a look at how easy it is to create a responsive design using DV5. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DV page builder. Now when we talk about responsive design using DV5, we can create a responsive website design using the seamless device switching option or we can use the visual breakpoints or we can use the third option that is canvas scaling. Now let me show you all of them starting with seamless device switching. So here we are inside our DV5 editor and this is a sample layout that we have just imported. And right now if we take a look in the top bar, we are in the desktop mode. So whatever we design here, it's perfect to showcase on a laptop or a desktop screen. But in order to create a responsive design, we need to make sure that our website design looks perfect on tablet and mobile. So for that, we have device switching option. So instead of desktop, we can click on tablet from here. So now we have switched our design to a tablet view. Now, for example, I want this title to be a little bit bigger for my tablet screen. So if I click on this and then head over to my design tab, here I have an option for heading text. So if I click on this, I can go ahead and change the font or I can play around with the font size. So right now it is 40 pixel. So I can just go ahead and increase it a little bit. So let's say 70 pixel and let's go ahead and play around a little bit. So let's say I want my text to be in black color for tablet. And in the same way, let's say I want this heading here to be in black color as well for my tablet view. So I can simply click on this and head over to design once again. And I can simply change the text size here as well, or I can change the text color or any kind of style that I want to edit. So for now, I just go ahead and change the color to black just to play around with it. Now, if you notice that if I click on heading or this heading or maybe any other module on my page, I can instantly edit the style for tablet only. So with just one single device switch, I can redesign my entire page for a specific device. So I don't have to switch back between devices again and again for each and every module. In the same way, let's say if I want to change anything for this button, I can simply come back here in design and for buttons. So maybe I want to make it green or maybe yellow just to play around with. In the same way, if I want to edit the styling for mobile device, I can simply go ahead and click on mobile here. Now, if I want to do any editing in styling for mobile devices, I can do it from here. So let's say I make the button white for mobile and maybe for mobile, I go ahead and change the design of heading text once again. So maybe I go ahead and make it strike through for mobile devices and make it a little bit big something like that and once again whatever styling i'll do right now it's only going to affect my mobile view so once that is done let me just go ahead and click on save to save my changes and now again if i choose the device switch option to desktop i will be back on my desktop view with normal white heading and my normal button and let's say if i switch back to tablet I will have this yellow button and a little bit bigger text. And if I switch back to mobile, I will have the different styling here. And if you go ahead and take a preview in the front end, let's open it here. So this is going to load it in the front end. And right now we are in the desktop view. So, so let me just go ahead and open up the tablet view here. Let me just make it 100%. So this is how it's going to look in a tablet view. I have my yellow button and I have a little bit bigger text here. And now if I go ahead and switch back to a mobile view, this is how it's going to look for mobile. We have a strike through text and we have a white button here. Just the way we styled it in the back end. So this is how we can switch between devices and create the responsive design accordingly. Now the next way of creating a responsive design in DV5 is by using the visual breakpoints, which provides a real time feedback as you make changes, allowing you to perfect your design for every screen size. Now let me show you how it works. 
Now let's say we come back here in our DB5 editor. Now let's say I want to design this page specifically for a device whose width is around 800 pixels. So in order to do that, I can come back here in my top bar and here we have an option for custom breakpoints. So I can simply enter the resolution or the screen size here. So let's say 800 pixels. So my canvas will instantly shrink down or resize to the specific size of screen breakpoint that I will enter here. Now again, I can do any design changes to design this entire page specifically for a device with 800 pixel width. For example, let's say for this heading, I want this to be displayed in white color. So I can go to design and then change this to as white. Maybe we can make it italics as well. So for all the devices with 800 pixels wide, this is how the design will look like. In the same way, I can just go ahead and enter any screen resolution or breakpoint and do the designing as per that. Now the third way of creating a responsive design in TV5 is the most interesting one, which is canvas scaling, which enables you to see how your design looks across multiple devices and resolutions by adjusting the canvas so you can optimize layout without guessing the screen resolution or the breakpoint. Let me show you how it works. So once again, we come back here in our DV5 visual builder. Now we have already covered how the device switching as well as custom breakpoint works. But if in case you want to see how your website is going to perform on different devices or different screen resolutions, then the simplest way to check that is using the canvas scaling option. All we need to do is just go to the right hand side of our canvas. If we click on this and start dragging our canvas to the left hand side, so here we can check how responsive our design is for different devices and resolutions. And we can go ahead and do designing as per a particular screen size. And once we are done, we can just expand the canvas as per our required width. So this is how we can expand or shrink our canvas to see how our design is going to look on different screen sizes or resolutions. And this is how easy it is to create a responsive website design using Divi 5. So make sure you go ahead and try DV5 Public Alpha today using the link given in the video description below. And if you find any bugs while using DV5, please report them through our support chat in the help tab in your members area. Your feedback helps us improve DV5. Along with that, you can find links to more DV5 resources in the video description below. So be sure to share your thoughts on DV5 Public Alpha in the comment section below. And make sure you like this video and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress and DV5 updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.